here's what a 45 year old starter solenoid looks like it was giving me some issues so i decided to take it apart um and uh, to my dismay i broke something that i shouldn't have while taking it apart so if you're trying to do the same thing pay close attention to any pins that have been soldered so i should have ideally desoldered these in order to not break the starter solenoid while taking it apart now when it does come apart if you see these two tanks these two wires these are what go up through these holes and get soldered over here so they have to be desoldered before you can actually separate the two halves so do that don't make my mistake but anyways this is how it kind of this is how it all comes together so these two pins that have been soldered this is the circuit that gets energized when you press the starter button which energizes the coil which sits in here it energizes this coil which sits right in here right so when you energize this coil this contact point gets pulled down causing a contact between these two leads which jumps the power from the battery to the starter motor and that is the actual contact working okay so pull down to get contact across the across the two poles and pretty simple elegant uh, now in order to get to this point if you see the edge this was crimped over so i had to gently uncrimp it but that's pretty much it so while it's idling it is it is suspended by the springs by the spring when it's energized it gets pulled down giving the contact and that's how your starter solenoid works i have made the repair as you can see i have crimped the edge back on and these are the wire ends that i have uh, positive and negative lead from the coil that I've brought up so that basically they will fit like so. Let me, sh let me just show you one second. Oops, that's how they fit. Um, if right now I uh, put 12 volts across here, the coil will energize and pull that plunger down causing a short between here. I will demonstrate that one second. Now the next step would be to to solder to solder these two wires to these pins so that we connect these pins to the starter button. Here are the pins soldered. Here's what the pins look like. I'm going to connect this connector and see if uh, the repair has worked by turning the starter over okay connector connected ignition on run position let's look at the rotor so one two three yep fixed 